So now that we implemented reliable send and receive methods, let's test them and see if they work properly and allow us to send and receive large amounts of data. So I'm going to go down and run the listener. And I'm going to come here and run my backdoor. Looks like we actually have a proper connection, so that's good. Now let's try to run a normal command that used to work before. So something that doesn't send or receive a big message. So something like the dir. That works perfect. That's fine. Now let's go ahead and try to read a big file like the sample.txt and see if we're able to read the full file this time. So again, we're going to do more sample.txt and our code crashed. Now, if we look at the error code, the main error that we're getting is a value error. And basically what it's telling us that the message or whatever that we are receiving is an unterminated string. So basically when we were receiving the package in here, we were still at this point, we couldn't receive the full package. We only received part of the package. And therefore you can see that it's telling us this is happening on line 21 where we are trying to unwrap whatever that we received and converting it back to its original text. So basically what's happening is we still don't have the full package, but we are trying to open it and read what's inside it. That's why we're getting an error here. It's telling us that this is a value error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the line that is telling us, which is line 21 which is right here. And again, this is where we are trying to unwrap the JSON data, which is whatever we are receiving. Now, since what we're receiving is larger than 1024 bytes, the JSON data is still not complete. And because this is a well-defined way of transferring data, when we're calling the load as method, it knows that this data, whatever we're passing to it, whatever we're passing in here is still not complete. And therefore it's not able to convert it back to its original message or to its original structure. So what we need to do is we need to keep receiving data until the load S method is able to convert this message or this data back to its original structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an infinite loop by doing while true. And in this infinite loop, I want to try to receive data. Once I receive the data, I want to convert this JSON data back to its original structure using this line. And if I get an error, so I'm going to accept a value error, which is the error that we were getting. If we get this error, that means that we need to receive more data. So I'm going to do continue. This will bring me back to the top of the loop where we're going to try to receive more JSON data. Now, I also need to modify this because the way that this loop will works, every time we enter this loop, we're going to overwrite whatever is stored in the JSON data variable. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say the JSON data is equal to whatever is currently stored in the JSON data plus add 1024 bytes for me from the TCP stream to my existing JSON data. Then I want you to try to convert this back to its original structure. If you get an error, then go back to the start of the loop. Now, since this is an infinite loop and we're using this variable inside it and we're making this variable is equal to itself, we have to initialize this variable to some value for the first time that the loop runs. So I'm just going to say my JSON data is equal to nothing at the start. Then every time the loop runs, it's going to add 1024 bytes from the TCP stream to the JSON data try to convert it to its original structure. If this works, we're going to return it. Otherwise, we'll add more data to it. 
Now I'll also need to use this code inside my backdoor in the reliable receive. So I'm gonna copy this and we'll paste it in here. And now this should all be good. Let's go and test the code again. So I'll clear this, run my program and run the backdoor. And let's try to run a normal command like dir. And you can see that this is working. And let's run more sample.txt to read a large file. Hit enter. And perfect. As you can see, now we're able to read the full file. So now we have a reliable way to transfer data between the server and the client, between the backdoor and the listener. And this will allow us to reliably extend and build on our backdoor. Now again, you'll actually have to implement this or something similar to this whenever you want to transfer larger amounts of data between your client and your server, regardless of what program you're writing, as long as your program is using sockets and TCP streams in order to transfer data.